So I bought the Quartz PRX so that you don't have to. Because quite frankly, all of your friends may have been suggesting you to get the automatic version instead. And I wouldn't blame them because those configurations are quite nice looking and that waffle dial is simply stunning to many of you. However, I do have my reasons why the Quartz PRX may be better for most people, like me. Let's first remember that it was the Quartz PRX that launched the hype for this collection. This 40mm watch has the modern desirable diameter while sporting a thin 10mm thickness. It's water resistant up to 100 meters, protecting the EDA F06.115 Swiss Quartz movement. This caliber keeps the case slim that pairs very well with smaller wrist size like mine. This is the main reason I chose the Quartz model. It's a decision I could only make when I held the watch on hand. No matter what lighting situation it is, it delivers the same effect as a Royal Oak bracelet. Awesome feature of this piece is its quick change strap mechanism. This $60 option is very well worth the price as you're getting a premium grade strap from Tiso. Special thanks to Toyota Mo for helping me secure this strap. Once installed on the PRX, it exudes a certain poise that steel bands lack and it completely changes the impression. It manages to keep the same taper as the bracelet, but now providing the maximum fit for your wrist. This is a very dark blue version despite what my phone camera lens may show. The leather texture is very well pronounced and that male end link properly blends the strap and case together. There was a slight delay from Tissot in releasing these leather strap options. The lugs took advantage of this by producing dedicated PRX straps themselves. I still found the ones from Tissot are more desirable because of that metal connector. The lugs offers more color varieties though and I'm sure to get one in the future. There are some flaws to this mechanism as it's rather hard to access the levers with my already long and disgusting fingernails. I can imagine this would be even harder for wider sausage digits. This is because of the angle of the straps against the edge of the case back. You might still want a precision screwdriver handy for strap changing. The PRX has become a phenomenon at this point, so here it is beside a fellow phenom, the Moon Swatch. The case size is identical and even the price is very close at this point. That's where the similarities end though as the PRX may have more wearable possibilities against the Moon Swatch. Beside another legendary watch, the original Rolex Mariner, the stylish elegance of the PRX stands out. I'm comparing two different types of watches here, but it's good to note how close their size profiles are. The automatic version of the PRX is a lot closer to the sub's thickness. The lack of an automatic rotor and general thinness of the Quartz EDA shapes microns off from this case. Let's now examine the smaller details of this Tissot. Tissot is indeed one of the top entry-level Swiss watch brands, and with all of the refined facets and pleasing textures on the case, the reason for making the PRX so popular becomes apparent. The case line under the bezel and above the case back cleverly extends to the rather thin and narrow bracelet links. As each link moves, the reflections of light on the brush facets beautifully dances over the bracelet. The links have a polished inner chamfer that creates striking contrast between the links. These enhance the sharp reflections. Of course, the narrower the links, the more it will conform to the unique shape of your wrist. This is my reason for buying a PRX. This very well-made bracelet that also happens to have high tolerances. The clasp is also well constructed and polished for good measure. Once closed, the Tiso branding and established year unites to secure your PRX. There's nothing to see on the case back aside from the usual materials used and labels. I wouldn't have it any other way because it's an undecorated quartz caliber inside. On the top side though, you can enjoy the clear sapphire crystal and the wonderful polished chamfers and bezel. This is consistent to the rest of the watch, a hallmark of refinement. These same principles are applied to the optional strap. This is not your typical leather strap as Tiso had to design this specifically for the PRX. The angle of which this is connected to sits flush to the case and treads the same line from the lugs. Every PRX owner should at least have a pair of these leather straps. The textures of the exterior leather is just gorgeous and the lining underneath is appropriately soft. The hype is real. 
This really is a well-designed watch from every angle perceivable, and we haven't even talked about the dial yet. That sunburst finish over the dark blue hue gives everything a nice platform to shine. It's as simple as can be with minimal text possible. Even the indexes are cut at an angle in keeping with the angular design of the exterior. This too is a light show to enjoy. Until when there's literal absence of light of course as the loom on these are mere lines on the indexes and hands. But that's okay, I didn't buy this to have a torch on my wrist. My Seiko Paddy Tuna may be bullying this PRX for its mediocre loom, but I rarely take any of my divers to a night out with my significant other, unlike this PRX. Long after the launch of this collection, I already convinced myself that I'm buying this watch for the bracelet. I just need to choose between the automatic or quartz models. With the perfect dimensions for my wrist, I was surprised to find out something about myself, that I could abandon my preference for automatic watches. Because this thing can look like an affordable Bacheron Constantin overseas on the leather strap, or the alternate universe version of the AP Royal Oak with a quick switch of the bracelet, all accessible to the greater buying public. But all that is just an exaggerated justification of my watch purchase really, because on its own merit, the Tissot PRX needs no justification at all. You just need to find one that fits your fancy. In such a short while, the Tissot PRX became the quintessential integrated bracelet watch in the sub $1,000 category. Now, the quartz version is definitely not for everyone, but for wrists like mine, this is the perfect size and profile. 